When BPI started, I actually was, uh, I lived in New Jersey with my family and I had an alarm system business that I uh, was a partner in and I was a competitive bodybuilder at the time. Uh, anything I can do to be involved, I wanted in on. When we first started, BPI wasn't anything. It wasn't a real company, it was just an idea. And Chris believed enough in that idea where he took the risk and moved himself, his kids and his wife from New Jersey, closed his business, moved away from all his friends and family to come down here to Florida because he believed in this idea of what BPI was. It actually was very easy to make the leap of faith to come down. I had a lot of faith in the vision of the company and the vision that the founders had in the company. I think the business for BPI just, it started strong and the bandwidth was low in the office. It wasn't a particularly big staff. I think it was uh, the two founders, a warehouse guy and a receptionist. It was very interesting in the beginning because our pre-workout, one MR or one more rep, that was the lightning in the bottle thing that took us out of the gate. And I remember calling stores and saying, hey, my name's Chris and I work for BPI Sports. And they would say, I don't think we carry your brand here. And I would say, no, we're the guys that make 1MR. And they would say, oh my God, 1MR, we can't sell, we can't get enough of that stuff. So that was the early days, but because it was such a strong start, it was easy to see the writing on the wall that this company had, um, you know, had legs beyond what the other contemporary companies had. You know, Chris has got a level of intensity and enthusiasm for working out. Like he reminds me of the way that I felt when I first started, when I was 19. And I imagine that's the same enthusiasm, intensity that he brought when he first started working out, but he maintains that all the way to today. When he goes in the gym, he brings that same kind of energy. You know, in the gym, I gotta be honest with you. I mean, I actually, I'm very blessed that I enjoy working out. Now that I'm in my late 40s, your motivation changes. And as you can see, we're in my home gym. I mean, I've built with my family and my children a lifestyle that is incorporates a lot of fitness stuff. Despite all the responsibilities that he has, He's a good father, he's got three kids, they're all in different sports. He's going to lacrosse games, he's going to cheerleader camp, he's doing all these things, he's a good husband. He travels for the business, he's in here being a good leader, but he doesn't let any of that become an excuse for not working out. So he still goes into the gym and he still brings it. And you see a lot of other people that are trying to juggle those same things and those all become the reasons why they don't work out and he's never let that become an excuse. And so I definitely admire that about him. There's things that are important to you in life. Your career is one of them, should be your second most important goal, and your family should be your first. And if you do have any personal interests, they should be in there too. There's nothing wrong with being the best volleyball player you can be or the best bodybuilder you can be. It should not be more important than your career, but there's really nothing wrong with investing in yourself. I know you can't believe it now, but I was short when I was in, uh, in high school. Um, you know, and being short, you know, you gotta compete against kids that maybe weigh uh, 40 pounds more than you or maybe went into puberty like 10 years before you did. And that's a challenge and I was very lucky. I mean, we had a gym at my school that you could use anytime you want it. Um, and then, I mean, listen, I will, you know, you go to the gym, you look a little bit better. Maybe it helps you be cool in school and definitely people knowing you're stronger than them and they don't mess with you in the hallways. And then before you know it, you're five years into it and you've built this psyche that requires exercise and strength to be the person you are and you know it's like a chicken and egg thing I don't know which came first but I enjoyed it I built it and it's one thing I always say to people is you have to let your successes um, refuel your your motivation I do see myself as three-dimensional like I, it's not everything I do three things I stay in great shape for an older guy I have a great family life and I work really hard at work